Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'll be talking about SVG animation. Let me quickly give you an overview of what I'm going to discuss in this video. First, I'm going to discuss why SVG animation. Then I'll discuss about its element, animate transform, animate and animate motion. Then I'll be discussing about attributes of SVG elements. So let me define some SVG basics. SVG graphics can be animated using animation elements and the animation elements are defined in the SMIL animation specifications and these are having elements animate transform, animate, animate motion and animate color. Animate color is depreciated from SVG now from the current version. So let's now discuss with why SVG animations so SVG suppose it's having a path for example comes with a set of data that is a D attribute that defines the path shape. So this data can be modified and animated using SMIL but not CSS. Another advantage if I talk about is that JS animations don't work when SVG is used as an image or used as a background image in CSS. Now I'll discuss about some attributes. Attribute type SVG is written in XML format. Attribute name you can write like fill, transform. If you are using transform, then type will be rotate and from and to. Then there is duration for how much time you want the animation to be. Then there is begin. You can write time or on a click you can start the animation. Then there is repeat count that you can write once to or infinite now last attribute is fill fill is having two values frozen and remove frozen is having like it will freeze the animation at the last point and remove is like getting back to the starting point it will not freeze at the last point now let me discuss attribute name in a little bit depth attribute name takes only one value not a list of values so you can only animate one attribute at a time and if you want to animate more than one attribute you need to define more than one animation for the element now suppose if i want opacity to be animated then my attribute name will be opacity and it's from one to zero let's say duration five seconds repeat count indefinite so next element i'm going to talk about is attribute type if attribute type is not set or is set to auto, the browser must search through the list of CSS properties for a matching property name. And if none is found, search the default XML namespace for the element. In the previous example, you have seen that attribute name is opacity. So that's a CSS property. So attribute type will be CSS. Now fill attribute, fill attribute as I have already told that it takes two value freeze and remove. Freeze the animation effect is defined to freeze the effect value at the last value of the active duration. And remove the animation effect is removed when the active duration of the animation is over. So till now I have discussed all the basic attributes to define SVG elements. There are more elements that I'll be discussing later in the video. So now with all these basic attributes, we can start with SVG animation elements. I'll be starting with animate transform that allows you to animate one of SVG transformation attribute or time. Now let's start by writing the code. I have already written SVG. So I'll be starting with writing polygon having points 450 100 then 470 right 200 i'm just writing the points 380 and 200 and close the polygon and also increase the height and width of the svg so i have created a triangle using polygon so now let me add some animations to it so write animate transform then write attribute name so that will be transform then write attribute type that will be XML and that will next will be type that will be like transform type so I'll be starting with rotate 
then from 0 to 360 and then duration let's say 10 seconds then repeat count these I have already discussed so you can go back in the video and check now let's get back to the browser and see how it looks so there you can see it's rotating from like 0 0 it's taking its rotation from the origin so let's change the origin to rotate add 450 100 and 450 100 now refresh the page now you can see it's moving around the top point now let's see how it will behave if i'll remove one point so i'm removing from two so let's see so it started with the point 450 100 and then it went out so after finishing its first rotation then also it started from the point 450 100 so now let me add again the point and repeat count let's say one and remove the point from the from and let's see so refresh there you can see it started and but finishing will be at 450 100 so now let's add the point in from and to both of them 150 let's change it to 150 now let's see so now it's rotating at the point 450 and 150 so now let's change the rotate to translate translate is basically moving from one position to another so let's change in the code type translate and from 0 to 360 and refresh the browser there you can see it started moving from 0 to 360 so now let's add minus 360 and duration is one second so it's it translated in the opposite direction so now let's add to 400 and it translated to a point 400 now let's scale it scale it to from 0 to 1 and let's say duration 5 seconds just check in the browser so that's how scale is working so now let's add skew to the triangle let's me add skew x and from 0 to 50 and repeat count indefinite so now let's refresh so there you can see it's skewing so i'm done with the first element that is transform and now i'll be moving to animate element you can animate any attribute or property using this element so let's get started without wasting any time now let's write animate attribute name fill from let's say blue to red duration 4 seconds and just close the tag refresh so it's working fine it's changing its color but it's stopped after once so let me add repeat count to infinite then again refresh the page and check let me zoom in so that you can clearly have an idea yeah now let's animate another attribute that is points so write points from that is 450 to 100 and to 550 to 100 now let me add another point 380 to 200 and move it to 580 to 200 so let's save it and check in the browser so triangle side is moving in the right direction now let's move to the third element that is animate motion so it causes a reference element to move along a motion path so for that you need a sub element that is m path that defines the external that basically provide a reference to the external path so for that first i'll be defining a path so write path d m 100 100 then write l 300 200 then again write l 500 300 then write l 550 and 500 then write stop of purple and close the tag and now let's create a circle that will be the reference circle r4 fill blue now animate motion so duration six seconds and 
repeat count will be infinite and write the mpath sub element so here you need to give the reference of the path so let's give an id line and pass that reference over x link href so close the tag and refresh the browser so there you can see it's moving along the path but you can see it's not moving to the third one so just close the path with z and fill it with none now again check in the browser now it's moving on the third side also because we close the path other attributes i'll be discussing in the next video so hope you like this video please like share and subscribe to my channel thank you so much for watching